Hello everyone and welcome to our special gameplay episode. This one will be a two-headed giant special with me and Vesper versus Colton and Casper. I'll let everyone introduce their decks as we pan over to the video, but for right now make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to make sure that you can see when we upload gameplay as well as art videos. I posted my art video last Wednesday. I'm trying a new thing out, so let me know what you guys think about it. Enjoy the video today, and we're trying to do something new. If you're curious about how Two-Headed Giant works, this is how it works right above here. Our life totals start at 60 for both teams. The starting team cannot draw on their first turn because it's like two people. Commander damage is still 21 per commander. In fact, it's 15 because 10 is apparently lame. Sure. All other standard commander and EDH rules apply. And combat works like so. You and your partner enter combat at the same time. You can only attack or block with creatures you control. When you enter combat, you must declare what player or planeswalker you are attacking with each creature. This is important for things like infect, commander damage, and some card effects. You may block a creature attacking your partner with one you control. Cards that refer to things like attacking creatures you control do not include your partner's creatures or permanents. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments below and we'll try to answer them in a timely fashion. Hey everyone and welcome to our Two-Headed Giant special. We're doing Commander with Two-Headed Giant and we're doing uh, two guilds versus each other. Me and Vesper are on Selesnia, Colton and Casper are on Rakdos. Let's introduce our commanders. Today I'm playing Kelleth and Inara. The goal is to get horse big and evade swing with horse horses all everything and Go i ahead. am the partner for Haley, and i'm playing ellen harbury's busybody and cloakwood hermit hopefully do some graveyard shenanigans aristocrats celestia i'm gonna play kettis and nadir uh, and its purpose is to make a bunch of treasures to sack to make nadir as strong as possible and i'm the only one playing just a single commander i'm playing prosper tonebound uh i want to put stuff into exiles and then turn around and cast them to create a bunch of treasures and just make a bunch of value we already rolled to see who goes first and me and Vesper are going first so we can start. Yes. I'm going to play a forest for turn and oh. a gilded goose to make it food. All together now. I'm going to play planes and tap one for a bass that was all it. And then that's me. We will pass. Alrighty. So our uh, draws, I will go with a field of the dead tapped. I'm going to go with a command tower and I'm good to go. Okay. Let's go with untapped rock. I'll play a forest and play horse. I will... Tap for green, sacrifice my food to make a second green, two threes in a forest card, which is probably going to be Temple Garden. And then I will shock that in. I'll go ahead and pass. All right, draw. <laughs> draw. I'm going to play Seer, Seer Step Pathway. I'll play Commander 1 Kettis. I'm going to play a Swamp, and uh, I'm good. You ever think a horse and a goose would be best friends? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <clears throat> I'm tap. Be. Team Awesome Animal. Play a Wooded Bastion. Forest for turn. Yeah. Awakening Zone. Blaming this. Commander creatures I own have double strike. Or when it. And I will go to combat. Horse beats. Um, I'm going to swing into Casper in the open mana. Trigger Kellith attack. I'll put a 1 1 counter on him. Horse. And it gains double strike till end of turn. Yeah, uh, I got I got nothing right now. I got no yeah. blocks. <laughs> So we'll take four. Pass. Draw. <laughs> I will play an Opal Palace into a Talisman of Indulgence. And then I will play a Guild Artisan. Uh, command creatures I own have whenever this creature attacks a player. If no opponent has more life than that player, I create two treasure tokens. If you're ready for combat, Casper. I, I got nothing right now, buddy. I'm, I'm good to... Uh... All right. <laughs> you're, good. you're running the show right now. Go to combat. <laughs> I'm going to swing Kedis at um, Haley. 
Uh, since you have the highest life total between both of you, I'll create two treasures. Makes Wait, sense. what? They're tied for the highest life total of my opponents, so I get to create two treasures. Nice! One commander. And since Haley took the damage, uh, Vesper, you will also take one damage. I will trust you, cool. as you are a judge, correct? <laughs> yes. So it reads, <laughs> whenever a commander I control deals damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to each other opponent. So that's why I said it's specific to attack one player. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because I deal damage to that player, which will then deal it to the other. I will then pass. Untap. Untap. I will make an Eldrazi spawn during my upkeep. Sun Petal Grove, it will check. And then... Mm -hmm. I am going to tap both of these for three and then sacrifice my Eldrazi for a fourth and play Ellen. I'm going to tap two and equip the Bathos Caller onto Kelly. And I will go to combat. Would you like two punchies too? No, no, I'm going to sit back with my goose. Goose doesn't punchy. <laughs> I will swing at Colton and trigger Kellis, get another counter, so it'll be a 3-3 three, three death touch lifelink double strike. Oh, sounds like I'm- Power horse. Taking <laughs> six, going to 10 commander. Oh boy. Go up to 62. What do you want to do this now instead? I'm going to tap two for a naturalize on your enchantment, Colton. I am good to go. Untap. Draw. Draw. Swamp. I think the salamander and horse are the greatest arch enemies of all time. All right, let's let's try to start getting something going for me. Red, black, two colorless. Prosper. All right, I'm gonna play two for lightning griefs. Then I'm gonna pay four using one of my treasures to play Blitzwing Adaptive Ass Assailant. Uh, it's a living metal at the beginning of combat. I get to choose flying or indestructible at random, and it gains that ability when it deals combat damage to a player i convert it what does it convert into <laughs> it will convert into a blitzwing cruel tormentor the beginning of my end step target opponent loses life equal to the life that player lost this turn if no life is lost this turn convert it um i'm gonna go ahead and path him so would Before. you like a land instead i would I'd love a land to be honest with you <laughs> <laughs> i'm not giving you one <laughs> <laughs> Just, Why not? Are you scared? If, if I had another pet, maybe I am. Maybe I am, Casper. I will equip Kettis. Goose is shivering in its boots. And I got no thing for combat then. Uh, nope. So we'll go to end step and I will exile the top card of my library to prosper. It's a recto signet. <laughs> <laughs> I will untap and make my bond and draw for turn. Rain. <laughs> I think I'll tap forward to bring in my other commander, Nora. As long as it's my turn, commander creatures I control have indestructible... Proceed go, to Stompy Horse. Go to Punchies. Colton, I know I said I was responsible for one thing, and I haven't seen any of those yet, buddy. So... <laughs> <laughs> I plan on blocking with the lizard, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Deadis. A Deadis Kedis. <laughs> I will swing. Yeah, I'll swing at you, Colton. All right, I will block with Kedis. We gain four. I'm good to go. Mm, I am going to tap these two for a devoted druid, and I'm going to also look at the top one card because I made one token this turn and put that in my hand. Lay my scattered groves, tap, and then I'm good. We'll keep draw. Do what you need with Prosper right now. Okay. Because, <laughs> uh, their board is getting out of hand. Two colorless for Rakdos Signet, create a treasure token. Three, five, six, lose my treasure, make it seven for blood money, destroy all creatures for each non-token creature destroyed this way, I'll create a tap treasure token. Make a food uh, as a response. So that's six treasures I'll create. I know what I'm gonna do. Two red, one, two, three colorless using the treasure token. Gold's man dragon. At least you can't share equipment. <laughs> yeah, but we're still gonna smack you in the face for four because he has haste anyway. Oh yeah. <laughs> we take it. And I will create a treasure token on a tap. I'm good. You good? I did. Untapsies. And then I make another Eldrazi, which he died, so now he's gone. Draw. I would like to tap three for a Scoot Swarm, and then I would like to play this land for turn and yeah. get a copy of Scoot Swarm. I would like to recast horse and put the collar on the horse. I want to see a horse that doesn't have a saddle, just a nice collar. And I'm all good. Go on tap. Upkeep. Horse. Draw. Nick those shrine to Nyx for Nadir. I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, Bajuka Bog, and I'm going to hit Vesper. I, I think you got the most stuff in your graveyard. Yeah, and it's smart because I'm going to try to do Aristocrats. 
So yeah, I'm we'll, gonna go to combat for now, Colton. I got main phase two stuff, so I want to do. Yeah. So, um, so I don't waste that mana I tapped. I'm gonna play Swift Foot Boots. Yeah, I'm good for combat. Mac for four in the air, creating a treasure token on attack. I am uh, good with that. Haley, you good with that? Um, also because the treasure gets sacked, I put a counter on Nadir. So I'm going to do one, two red and three colorless, and I'm gonna do a reign of riches. When it enters the battlefield, I'm gonna create two treasure tokens. From there, I'm going to three treasure tokens for two red and two colorless, and I'm gonna do tectonic giant. So because that is my first spell cast with a treasure token, I'm going to cascade. I'm looking for three so i'm gonna hit a demonic tutor and i'm gonna go ahead and cast that for free and uh that will be me all right i'm gonna sack a treasure counter put boots on a deer and then i'm gonna sack all four treasures to cast kettis and then i'll equip lightning greaves uh this makes new deer a nine nine i will call that a pass for me too untaps and make a second eldrazi spawn i'm gonna tap six and i'm gonna play an austere command which is going to my modes are gonna be all artifacts and and creatures oh, with nice. CMC four or greater. My collar. Forgot. I know, I know, but it's worth it. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I got nothing for that. Yeah, okay. I got I got nothing, unfortunately. That hurts. <laughs> I lose a food. Haley, you lose a collar, but but look. Look at how clean the other side is. Um, so Nadir dies. And I'm gonna create Nine elves. I'm gonna play a cartouche of strength on the Kellis. It can fight. It can fight Kes. Ke and it's a 2 2. And it lives. Okay, I'll go to combat and declare attackers at Casper. Trigger. Get a 1 1. So it's a 1 2 3 3 double strike. I will block with one elf. That will cool. respond to block. I'll tap 3 for an invigorating surge onto Kellis. Put a 1 1 counter on target creature I control, then double the number of 1 1 counters. Yep. So it'll go up to four counters. Yep. Five, six, six. As trample? Yes, from the cartouche. Oh, that does uh, make a difference. I didn't know that thing had trample. So I have to block. It was a 3-3 three, three before that? Yeah, it was a 3-3 three, three three, three, before yes. that. Okay. 3-3 three, three double strike. Uh, so I'll block it with six. Uh, so I didn't know the invigorate was coming. Okay, so then invigorate, invigorate resolves. Yep. So it'll okay. get three more, so it'll... So I, out of the ten, we take four more. We've taken six damage. Oh, six damage. Thank you. Yeah. Untap, upkeep, draw. You got another one in you? <laughs> I <laughs> have to my control stuff. dig. I'm going to pull, play Unexpected Windfall, discarding Gratuitous Violence, drawing two cards, creating two treasures. I'm going to play funny. Witch Clinic, who will... Which will make me a zombie. Oh, we got the zombies online now. Because I'm super sad about you killing Goldspin Dragon. I'm going to play a Goldspin Dragon. <laughs> and I will... Uh... Colton, check your messages. Oh okay. yeah, Haley, you should check your messages because we have secret talk too. <laughs> it's very... I keep forgetting. Uh... <laughs> and then I see the notification bubble on my computer. Um, so I'll just do uh, Goldspin Dragon in the air at uh, Vesper. Oh! Uh, that telegraphs you've got removal for horse, guys. Your secret chat is not so sneaky. No, it's not. Do, I'll I, take have, four. do I have removal for horse? Are you One, sure? One, two, three, four. Main phase two, prosper. That's all I got. All right. Nope. Yep, I'm going to exile an arc blade to prosper. I'm yeah. going to um, play a land and get two more scoot swarms. <laughs> I will tap two. I forgot about this form over there. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm going to go tutor for a creature to put in my hand. Ooh. Just get a scoot swarm. Get a scoot yeah. swarm. I put scoot swarm into Wait, my what? adder fang deck. <laughs> Sorry, I keep getting distracted. The secret chat is, is horrible for my attention span. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> ADOS kick in. But what you're saying is, is that if Colton and I just start bombing you with chats, like you'll be so distracted you won't do any good. Oh, it'll be misplaced city, but maybe not the best for streaming. <laughs> that just makes it more work for me, so this is worth it. <laughs> I sent you a picture. I see. Secret. Yes. Okay, I'm going to reveal a Bastion Protector and put that in my hand. Commander creatures I control get plus two, plus two, and indestructible. And then I will play said Bastion Protector. Let's go to combat. Yeah. No, swing. Swing, Haley. Yeah. Horse wants blood. Casper, trigger. In response, I'm going to do a red and a colorless for you find some prisoners, and I'm going to blow up the artifact that's enchanting it, or it's equipped with giving it trample. It's an enchantment. 
Oh, it's an enchantment? Yeah, <laughs> never mind. Um, that's hey, Colton, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> I thought that was an equipment. <laughs> yeah, that's Ooh. game. I only got four blocker for that. Now, who would have thought a horse would win? If you thought a horse would win, give this video a like. Even if you didn't think it was gonna win. Like the video. I, I think I deserve this after the horrible defeats in the last games. My decks have really been hating me lately, and I'm going to be very happy and proud about this. Even if it wasn't a horse by itself, it had some help, but yeah, little party here, little party there. Side of Orchard. Go ahead. Tapped Crossenburg. Go. <laughs> Tapped Field of the Dead. Multiplayer format. I can go back to my original layout. Turn scales. That's cool. Do a Tainted Peak for land for turn. Mm -hmm. And I will do two colorless for an Arcane Signet. Pass turn. Untap. Boris. Lightning Grapes. Pass. Dwarven Mine. Tapped. Pass. <laughs> Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Mountain for land for turn. I'm going to do a red and two colorless for an Ingenious Artillerist. Draw. Play a land. This Canopy Vista comes in tapped and then I'll pass. No, I'm going to tap the uh, Gavney Township for a Shadow Spear, oh, no. Forest for the Ozolith. Combat, Colton. Yep. <laughs> Three, I'll pass. Untap, upkeep, draw, a Mountain for Land for turn, Black, Red, two colorless, Prosper. Go to Inset, Pictonic Giant to Prosper. Pass turn. Untap three for Adeline. We'll swing Outland Liberator at Colton. And everybody gets a 1-1 one, one coming at them. Uh, I will block my 1-1 one, one coming at me with Prosper. And then um, that'll be it. Dockside. Five. I'm going to pass. Yeah. Plus one, plus one, trample on lifelink. Go to combat. Vesper. Six. Trample uh, lifelink. I declare no blocks. I will take six, commander. I will pass. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Mountain for land return. Two red, two colorless for Tectonic Knight. Create a treasure token. Everybody takes the damage from the Ingenious Artillerist. Red and two colorless using that treasure token Im immediately for, for a professional face breaker. Ailey hits you for three. And that is a creature that dealt damage, so professional face breaker will trigger. I'll create a uh, treasure token and everybody will take one on the Ingenious Artillerist. And I will pass turn, exiling a ebony fly to prosper. <laughs> We're gonna <laughs> martyr's cause. Greaves up Adeline. And then I'm going to attack you, uh, Haley, and then we get three more. So, Haley, you seven, four. I will block uh, the one, one. Block okay. in the one, one. And then that's me, pass. Dragon Skull Summer. You know what? I'm going to scry one, put in a landmark counter. Ruthless Technomancer. I'm going to sac sacrifice Dockside to create a treasure. Pay th three treasures. This is infinite treasures, isn't it? Um... No, because I need a sack outlet. That will create me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna use two of those treasures to deadly dispute Dockside. Create a treasure, draw two cards. Dockside again, going up to 11. Pay two to ghostly plunder. Dockside chef, then but do you have anything you can do with them? Yes. Okay. Five, because now I can sacrifice a creature and artifact to draw a card for two mana. Mm -hmm. And then you're making seven every turn? Making... Yeah. Okay, so do your thing. Oh, there do we you... go. Perforous. Thanks for tuning in guys and we will upload a another commander video on not next Sunday but the Sunday after that and then next week uh, we'll be uploading an art video as well so stay tuned for that and you can check out all my art and alter mumbo jumbo stuff on my website in the description below. That's been the video and thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.